Today we're in the beautiful San Diego, California region on a college campus here. People are probably reading or getting smart all around here. And uh, yeah, two shows left. Again, this is day 61, but who's counting? Uh, it's gig 47, who's counting? Two more, I'll take a little break. I need to go to the beach and see a sunset. And I need to wash my filthy body. On tour with Primus? Well, it's a little like the, uh, the game of baseball. It's very time consuming. You dedicate your whole day to the gig. Ball players dedicate the day to the game. There is hot dogs involved. Overall, I think it's the American dream. I dreamt of being a Playboy photographer at a very young age. <laughs> and uh, decided that I needed to be surrounded by barbecues and whatnot. So rock and roll and baseball is what it dwindled down to. I'm an amateur sportsman. Play catch during the day. Keep the dream, a dream alive. Ultimately, I've turned out to be a rocker. No complaints. Again, there's barbecues involved. Our livelihood is touring. So that's a wonderful thing. I recognize that as being very rare, and there's over a thousand people that would be happy to be in my shoes at any given moment, so I never take any of this touring for granted. We get to see a lot of beautiful sights. I think we've visited 37 countries now, so that's pretty amazing. See a lot of beautiful things, a lot of oceans, mountains. If there was only one negative thing about it, it would just be the disconnect from home, because we're gonna find ourselves doing 150 plus shows a year. Overall, that's not a bad thing. Every career has, has its sacrifices. And the biggest one for me and, and most touring bands with longevity is just the, the disconnect from home. When we travel the US, we'll take days off and fly home or have our loved ones fly out and join us. Being able to integrate a little home life with tour life, it breaks up the uh, emotional monotony, I suppose. Um, if you stay healthy physically and emotionally up here. Working on the knuckleball. I think there's nothing gonna stop you, you know? All of our family members are uh, super supportive of everything that Macedon's been fortunate enough to do. So uh, I think they're they're all proud of us, and um, you know it's a big touring family. Thankfully, we've had the bulk of our crew for many years, and it's uh, a very tight knit situation that we're lucky enough to have going on. This tour has been, uh, I think, today is day number 61. So this is the longest tour Macedon's ever been a part of. I did learn that Primus originally wanted to call their band Primate, but there was some copyright deal going on and they had to resort to Primus, which I thought was, uh, you know, if I'm ever on the, the show Jeopardy, and that's, that question comes around, I'll win 200, maybe $400. The first thing I'm gonna do off tour is I'm gonna make a list of groceries, go to the store, purchase those groceries, take them home and cook those groceries. I've already got my, uh, my, my weekly meal planner, ready to rock. I'll be there Monday morning. And I'll be getting chubby by Tuesday. You got a credential? You guys have credentials? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we just wanted to see you. I'm taking over. Oh, I, just I thought I was getting arrested. <laughs> see what they are. Oh, perfect. That's all you got. Primus and mess. Yeah. All right, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Always gotta look over your shoulder. You never can trust anyone, anywhere, anytime. Tim Moss, you speak of? Uh, Tim's great. We've worked with Tim off and on for like 10 years. You know, he might look uh, unintelligent, but uh, it's pretty cool once you get to know him, you know? Uh, on first meeting, I thought, uh, I thought, man, I need to give this homeless guy some money. Held my hand out, he said, no, 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 my name's Tim Moss, I'm here to work with you. I was like, wow, okay. Put him right to work. So uh, yeah, 10 years later, Tim Moss has been great. I can't joke too badly about him. Well, the, the biggest difference between the, the early days of Macedon and these days is that we were using our van, doubling it as a restroom. And uh, that's when you know you're bonded, bonding brothers, as you know, bonding bandmate brothers. Because uh, the band that poops together stays together. And then fortunately, We've just kept working and working and working, and now this becomes the uh, the tube of gaseousness. It's become a fart tube, and we sleep in it too. Yeah, we graduated from the fart box into the fart tube. That's the biggest difference between the early days and the current days in the mastodon world.
Well, the obvious words of wisdom to any upcoming band is, uh, you know, get used to the smells and the sights. There's going to be trench foot. There's going to be jock itch. There's going to be leftover rotten socks very close to where you eat. If you can get past that and make some cool tunes along the way, you're going to be all right. So I'm here, I just showed up a couple hours ago. Good. Um, I uh, tried to call the airline to uh, cancel your flight, but uh, they were doing construction and said, uh, I have to call back tomorrow, so uh, I tried to divert you. So I'm here. So your plan was foiled. <laughs> Joke's um, on you.